what's going on you guys it's week 23 on keto and I'm pretty happy about this weigh-in so let's go ahead and jump on into the weigh-in morning you guys it's Monday December 7th and I'm going to do my weigh-in Yay. All right, there it is, you guys. I double-checked it, and it is accurate. We are down, and we are at 200.6 pounds, and I'm, like, so excited. I'm like, I'm like, I can't, like, contain my excitement because I just, like, hope I make it down to Wonderland next week. Oh, my God. Maybe even this week. I'm, I'm so excited. I'll probably, like, I know I shouldn't check the scale every day, but I probably will. Probably will. Probably will. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. Maybe like once this week I'll check the scale before I weigh in next week because I don't want to like trip or anything like that. But um, you guys, I'm totally stoked about this weigh in. Um, so 200.6, that makes me down 5.2 pounds from last week. But like I said in my uh, weigh in last week, I felt I was like holding on to like meat and all kinds of stuff from Thanksgiving. I just like hadn't digested it yet. So 5.2 pounds is not just all in one week. You know, that's a total loss of 4.1 pounds in two weeks. So that's basically on trend with how I've been losing weight um, the last 23 weeks, like two pounds a week. There was a little bit, um, a little while back where I lost like 0.8 and 0.8, but I always came back with like a little bit more. So it's, it's fallen behind on my goal. My initial goal was to lose two pounds a week. I think that would have brought me to like, I think Wonderland by November, but I don't know. Anyways, so, I'm still happy. I am down 57.4 pounds total overall since I've started keto, which has been 23 weeks going now. I'm so happy. And then um, I went on Periscope earlier today and Jimmy Moore, because I follow his Periscope, even though I also um, am a big fan of uh, Dr. Stephen Finney. I watched his um, YouTube videos um, right when I started keto and it totally helped me out. Like. Dr. Stephen Finney is ridiculously smart. He totally explains everything to you and you know, it really broke it down and I totally just started understanding like that, like right then when I was watching his YouTube videos. But anyway, so I was, I also like um, follow here and there uh, Jimmy, I forgot his name already, whatever. But um, so I was watching his periscope, Jimmy Moore, there we go. I was watching his periscope and um, earlier and he was talking about fasting and I was like, I'm on day like 112. Actually, I told him I was on day 65 because I thought it had only been a couple months and I wasn't really 100% sure and if that was accurate. So um, I actually, my phone died when I was watching his periscope and I didn't get to correct myself, but I went back to my YouTube video and I think it was week seven. I started, that was like the very first day I started intermittent fasting and I really, really liked it. And I think only one time, I don't really know exactly the eating window time period, but there was one day I did have breakfast, but it was like at nine or 10 in the morning. And I don't recall like what time I had finished eating the day before. So um, I don't know, we could call that breaking a fast, breaking the fast that day, or we, I kind of like don't really recall. So I'm, I'm sticking to 112 days. I basically, don't eat before two o'clock and I don't eat after like 10 or 12 so it's you know it's a pretty long fasting period and I always feel so much better like the longer I go the like easier it is to like not be hungry I don't know what it is but Thanksgiving kind of threw me off a little bit so I was a little hungrier that week and it showed because I had obviously been holding on to some weight and some water weight and you know stuff not being digested but um anyhow I could ramble all day because of how excited I am to be so close to Wonderland but anyway so basically I'm on schedule losing about two pounds a week the overall this week was 5.2 last week was I, I had gained a little bit but I'm um, 4.1 in the last two weeks so we'll just go two pounds a week because when in reality you know, when you jump on a scale once a week, on a Monday, every week, it's gonna be up or down. Like, in the very beginning when I started making these videos, I was I was kind of stressed out because I'm like, oh my god, like, I can't eat until I weigh in and I feel heavy. Like, I'll wait until I, you know, use the restroom and then I'll weigh in. And things, the way things are now is that the process is working so well and I, like, totally went all in. I totally trust the process. My mom trusts the process. Keto adaptation like those rules those guidelines staying under 20 carbs 20 net carbs um, trying to make most of those vegetables I do have the occasional snack and sweet like I'll make uh, fat bombs or I will make keto pumpkin pie or keto friendly things using almond flour which by the way I stopped using almond meal because it's I know it's a little higher in fiber but it tastes like not as good as ground blanched almonds like I just I get blanched almonds because it's way cheaper to buy it in bulk 
you know, blanched, and then I just throw them in my Nutribullet and grind them up that way, and that makes my almond flour, and, and I can grind it up really finely, and it's yummy that way, so I recommend that. So I tested my blood ketones today because I was on Periscope earlier, and I had done a periscope on intermittent fasting and keto and I wanted to see if there was anybody out there that wanted to talk about it just for fun because I had like a, a little break and um, I was like oh well, maybe I'll check my blood ketones you know for you guys like on periscope and I was like oh you know what that would be great to put in my video today so I held off and I video recorded it and I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my clip of my blood ketone testing right now okay so can you see the screen Right, we're just going to turn this on right now, and then I'm going to take the needle and put it into... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Alright, just in case you guys accidentally take it off first, just take the end and put it back on. Okay, so I kind of screwed that up, but it's in there now. And then you just put the lid back on, so now it's ready to poke, okay? And I'm gonna take my ketone strip, okay? And that's where the blood goes, in that little section right there. And I'm gonna put this in here, okay? And then I'm going to prick my finger and do it on the side. You don't wanna do it on the top, and you don't wanna do it like right there. You wanna do it kind of on the side, but not too far on the side. And then you get some blood, you gotta wipe the first bit away. And then you got your blood. And then it sucks it right up in there. Boom. And now we shall see. Eight, seven, six. And babe, what's today? What's the date today? December 7th. What day is it? Monday, right? Oh, damn! You guys, check it out. 5.2. I cannot be more excited. This right here shows fasting is a godsend. I am fasting right now, it is currently, let me show you, let me take this camera. Okay, 5.2, let's get that again. I am freaking pumped. But anyways, let me show you what time it is. Hi, princess. It is 2.53 p.m. and I'm still currently fasting from the day before. And these are my numbers for today. I don't ever do my blood ketones because I only do it when I feel like I am, um, you know, go through a stall or something because they're expensive and I don't want to waste them. But 5.2, come on. And that date is wrong and all that stuff is wrong. But obviously, um, do you have your phone on you, babe? I'm going to show you guys the date so that nobody thinks I'm playing. 2.53, Monday, December 7th. Wow. 5.2. Was it 5.2? I was like, what? I could not believe it because I've never, ever, ever been that high. I think the last one I had was like 2 point something or 3 point something. But I, I rarely ever check my blood ketones because I don't feel the need to because I haven't been stalling out. I kind of can see the things I eat and know why things are happening or if I ate too much because I track all my macros and I will leave my info somewhere on the screen for my fitness pal, which I usually do. Um, and it's always down below in the description bar too if you guys want to follow me on my social media, my Instagram, which will be right here somewhere. And um, I also have Facebook, but that's basically for like family stuff. I don't really do Facebook. I used to have, well I still have Weight Loss to Wonderland, and that's um, on my Facebook. But I don't really post on that anymore. I usually go to Instagram. But anyways, so 5.2, I was like, 5.2, that seems really, really high to me. So. Uh, right when I was like a little bit later on Jimmy Moore had done another periscope so I popped on and I was like hey I checked my fasted blood ketones I have and they were 5.2 is that okay and he said that my blood sugar was probably just low so that makes sense because I was fasting and I had a coffee earlier and I had you know uh, my Truvia which I did I think two two little scoopers I think it's like a teaspoon so I did a teaspoon of Truvia and you know my decaf and I think four tablespoons of heavy cream and that's all I had had up till about right before I right after I tested my blood um, ketones I had eaten so I was fasting up until almost three o'clock today I believe I think it was about three o'clock but anyway he said my blood sugar was just low so that could be the reason for that but I am in ketosis and deep ketosis and I am so super happy about that you guys I'm sorry if I'm rambling on this video I just wanted to throw in that blood ketone um, you know monitor and show you guys how I test it which I never really do but you know that's the third time I ever did 
and um, it works really well. Uh, I, I found mine on my monitor. I found mine on eBay. A lot of people can get theirs for free. I don't know how they do that, but um, look into that. That would be really great, if, you know, to get something for free. I think I paid like 40 bucks for mine or 40 or 50. Where they get you though is those little strip things that you put your blood on. Oh my God, those things are damn expensive. So uh, that's why I ration mine and they expire pretty quickly. So don't buy a big box unless you want to if you, unless you want to invest and keep buying them over and over again if you like to check your blood ketones. Anyways, that's going to be it for this week, you guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye! Hey, what's going on, you guys? It is week 23 on keto, and let me just erase this. Hey, what's going on, you guys? <laughs>